It's been said that everybody has a talent. Stanford golf star Maverick McNeely has more than most. Suffice it to say he has some pretty solid options for his future. Oh, wow. The fairway is wide open for Maverick McNeely in life. Mav's the guy that you'd like to introduce to your daughter. And more immediately, in golf. This spring has been the best golf I've played my entire life. Mav has led the Cardinal to back-to-back -to -back Pac-12 titles for the first time in school history. He won the individual conference championship by 10 strokes, including a final round 61 that tied the Stanford record held by two players, including some guy named Tiger. There's a lot of things that make Mav a special player. He doesn't have a lot of fear when the pressure's on. Uh, in golf, in our sport, you never really know how a guy's gonna react when he has to make that six-foot putt. Oh. Look at that. I take a really analytical approach to my play. I feel like I get the most out of my time between rounds, kind of analyzing what I did well and what I didn't do well. But to really understand Mav the golfer, you need to understand Mav the person. His father is Sun Microsystems co-founder and Silicon Valley heavyweight, Scott McNeely. Now, before you go jumping to conclusions about rich kids and country club sports, consider the values that Scott and wife Susan instilled in their four sons. Maverick understands, I said to him at a very early age, you were born with a platinum spoon in your mouth. Everybody's gonna look at you and think that you know, you got there because it was given to you. And I said, you're gonna have to outwork the entire planet. They always tell us to whom much is given, much is expected. Also that there's no substitute for hard work. And it's one of the things I hold most dear to me is that given this, these incredible opportunities, it's my job to work hard and make something of it. This is the bedroom Maverick shared with his three younger brothers, four twin beds all along one wall, sort of barrack style. Oh, and in this room, no phones, no electronics, no exceptions. I know exactly which one of my brothers snore. <laughs> it's great. I think my three brothers and I are really close because of it. We don't watch TV and we don't play video games. We just you know, go out, play sports, have fun. And study in their designated area. Hardly lavish, arguably a bit cramped. Again, setting the tone for a solid work ethic. We never looked over his shoulder to do his homework. We never made him go out and hit golf balls. We just said, get your stuff done and we'll stay out of your hair. Come meet Larry Scott, Hi. the Pac-12 commissioner. Hi, Larry Scott and Maverick McNeely. Nice Bucking you. more stereotypes and making Mav's story even more incredible, the fact that golf was not his primary sport until college. He was more of a blue-collar athlete. I played a lot of ice hockey growing up. Admittedly, the rink in his backyard probably had something to do with that. But now, a mere two seasons into his collegiate golf career, He's the top ranked player in the nation. His level of improvement and his curve has been really steep. He's shown through his you know, great success this year on the course that he's one of our all-time greats. Add it all up, and you have a young man who is poised to become the next Stanford golf star to take the world by storm, but maybe not via this course. Maverick has a tough choice. He's so talented as an entertainer, but he is also an incredibly mature, smart leader and he has so much more he can offer as a capitalist versus an entertainer. He's 19 years old now, I wish he was president of the United States. I'd love to be in the business world. There's a lot of options there, and so I'm just gonna make sure I, I get a good degree and you know, kind of uh, take everything I can out of Stanford. At Stanford, Scott Reese for Sportsman. McNeely shot a 72 today at the NCAA Championships, but Stanford sits in 26th place out of 30 teams in Bradenton, Florida.